There are a ton of pretty frightening villains, and even superheroes in the Marvel Universe, I might say. Ranging from Carnage, who used a power drill to kill his dog, or even pushing his grandmother down a flight of stairs, or killing somebody just because he didn't like his name. Jesus. There's also a Peter Parker from an alternate world where after getting bit by the spider, he ends up just wanting to eat people all the time. And then there's Namor, the King of Atlantis, who at one point would just casually scare a submarine crew down in the depths of the ocean until he would ultimately just end up killing them. But one villain who sticks out to me the most is quite honestly more haunting than anything I just mentioned. He's a villain that absolutely makes me sick to my stomach because when I have to flip the pages I have to touch the disgusting panels he's in. The guy absolutely triggers my arachnophobia. And this villain that I'm talking about goes by the name The Thousand, and his story is quite the unsettling one. As we start the Thousand story at an early age going by the name Carl as Peter Parker's school bully, always getting up to unspeakable things like dunking Peter's head in a toilet just for lunch money, or even just tying up Peter to a flagpole just proceeding to hit him repeatedly with a football because he could. And it wouldn't just stop at elementary school, no. It would continue through to high school as Carl would just terrorize Peter to do his work for him so he could pass high school. And even if Peter did completely right by Carl, Carl would still find a reason to beat on him and call him names like a worthless worm and tell him that he will never be loved. But little did Carl know that he couldn't be more further from the truth as Carl saw Peter receive the spider bite. And after this point out of pure jealousy, Carl would follow Peter all through the city and witness him do things no ordinary man could do. And one day Carl would even end up following Peter back to his aunt's where he would watch from afar the first time he ever donned the spider suit. So out of Carl's pure jealousy alone, he would go back to where Peter got bitten and find the dead spider and decide to eat it, thinking he could end up with the same gifts Peter received. But in Carl doing this, he made a grave mistake. As returning home, he started to go through many changes, and when his mother would try to help Carl, a huge spider would leap from the inside of his mouth into his mother's, completely consuming her until her body would become nothing but a skin suit for Carl. And after killing his parents with his new abilities, he would work to hone them and so he could be strong enough one day to face down Peter Parker. In doing this, Carl would even go so far as to stalk Spider-Man's every move, always watching Spider-Man against each of his foes so that once Carl would face Spider-Man, he'd be ready. And in Carl's eyes, take what he thinks is rightfully his. So days later, as Peter Parker is trying to make a quick buck from J. Jonah Jameson for the pictures he took of himself, while J. Jonah tells him to piss off, Miss Patton offers to keep the photos to try and change Jonah's mind. In doing this, this ends up keeping her in the bugle a little later than usual, and gives Carl the prey he needs to get close to Peter, as Carl would corner Miss Patton. Carl would end up flinging her into a broom closet, as Miss Patton would desperately try to defend herself and get away from Carl. But in her position, she wouldn't be able to do anything as Carl would prove to be too strong, as he would start to open his gaping hole he calls a mouth with his teeth falling out like popcorn, revealing an army of spiders inside of him ready to pounce inside Miss Patton, making her into the latest of Carl's many skin suits. And once the deed would be finished, Carl would be one step closer to killing Peter. As while Peter would be walking back to his apartment in the rain, Carl would construe events to make it look like they just so happened to bump into one another, manipulating Peter to take Carl back to his place, posing as Miss Patton. But upon entering Peter's apartment, Carl would reveal his true colors, hauntingly twisting the skin suit's neck like a demented owl, attacking Peter as Carl contorted towards his body in all sorts of twisted ways, telling Peter he's going to kick his ass all over town. And as Peter witnesses this skin suit that was once Miss Patton attack him, Peter desperately tries to get a handle on the situation. But no matter how hard Peter tries to fight off Carl, he proves to be not only too strong, but too fast as well, wrapping around Peter until Carl knocks Peter out. A while later, Peter would end up waking back up in his apartment, to Carl explaining to Peter that Carl is like this now because of the spider that bit Peter, telling Peter that he he didn't get the same extraordinary gifts he did, but what Carl got was far different. Something better. Something that could live inside someone. Something that could liquefy the innards of a human and walk the earth as its hollow shell. As an army of spiders bellow their way out of Carl's skin suit, forming a large mass of spiders around Peter, climbing all over Peter's body to literally absorb Peter's insides and finally become Spider-Man to fulfill Carl's one wish. But before Carl, now calling himself the Thousand, can kill Peter and become Spider-Man, Peter's landlord comes into his apartment only to find a situation he could never expect. Only for the Thousand to send his army of spiders into the landlord's body, making him a skin suit in seconds flat. After Peter witnesses this, he gets the 
strength to break out of his bindings and finally fight off the Thousand. As Spider-Man punches and kicks the Thousand, telling him that he'll always just be a pathetic, cowardly bully, saying to him that he's just the same sadist he's always been. But in Carl hearing this, it strikes a nerve in him, as he grabs Peter, throwing him side to side, yelling at Peter that it should have been him that got the life of a superhero not Peter, jumping on his back repeatedly, screaming that it should have been him. Carl even begins to project his insecurities to Peter that he got the perfect life and the perfect girlfriends, but Carl had to eat his girlfriend. But Peter ends up calling him out on his bullshit, telling Carl he never had to eat her in the first place, and that he's just lying as Carl kicks his head some more, leading Carl to say that no matter the superpowers or the perfect life Peter may have, it'll never hide what truly lies within Peter, that he's just and always has been a pathetic, terrified little worm. To which Peter gets up through sheer will alone and says, Carl, I'm not afraid of you at all. Following this, Peter gets flung towards some electric generators by Carl, and in Carl's fit of rage, he tries to deal the killing blow, only to end up punching the generators, shocking Carl to death. And as Peter watches Carl's skin suit burn and fade away, he says goodbye, Carl. God forgive you, you sad, sad fool. However, what Peter didn't know was that one of Carl's spiders did survive, and he'll be back. And when he does come back, he'll hurt him in ways Parker could never imagine. But only seconds later, after plotting Peter's demise, a citizen would squish Carl under his shoe as he passes on, lighting a cigarette. Ending the story. I hope you guys like this horrifying and disturbing story, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.